Hey guys, Mike Linares here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Today we're talking about isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic solutions. They're kind of like the three little bears, or the three little hippos. One is too much, one is too little, and one is just right. All right guys, first we have hypotonic fluids, which we call hippotonic fluid, because fluid goes into the cell, making the cell swell, making it big and puffed up and swollen, just like a big hippo. So what are hypotonic fluids? Well, they're just solutions containing a lower concentration of salt or solute than ICF, or basically fluid inside the cell. They are basically diluted fluids having less salt and more water than your body fluids. So the simplest way to remember this is hippos love water, and hippotonic fluids are filled with water. Hypotonic fluids have a lower osmolality, basically a less concentration, than body fluids, because all that water dilutes their concentration. Now hippos are massive and they eat a lot because they're very hungry, hungry hippos. And this is simple to remember hypotonic solutions in a way that they're usually half, one third, or even one fourth of normal saline. So guys, write this down. This is a list of hypotonic fluids. Half NS or 45% NaCl, sodium chloride, one-fourth NS, or 20% sodium chloride. One-third NS, or basically 0.33% of sodium chloride. And 2.5% dextrose in water, as well as D5W. So caution, let's slow this down real quick. Because D5W is a very unique solution. And may be both isotonic as well as hypotonic. But never hypertonic. So please stop what you're doing and listen up real quick. Now D5W is isotonic in the bag and hypotonic in the body. Now before you go like OMG, just understand that sugar is the big culprit here. Inside the bag, the sugar is thick and floating around in there. But once inside the body, the sugar's eaten up by all the cells in your body. And all that's left is our good old fashioned hypotonic fluids. Now let's write down these very important nursing considerations with hypotonic fluids. So first things first, never use hypotonics with ICP patients. For watching, for our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.